On behalf of Waterford Institute of Technology, I welcome you to this virtual ceremony for the granting of awards for the graduates of 2020. The ceremony has been streamed to all our graduates, their families and friends, and our communities. We share with you all our congratulations on your achievements and formally celebrate those achievements in this ceremony. I would now call on the Chair of our Governing Body to formally open this session and to address you. Agenuista, Arkeon Institute, Technoliachta, Fort Larga, Boalam, Falter, Korov, Galer, Gudi, and Sharmana Shah you. By the powers of Arachtas Aaron vested in the Institute, and in accordance with the rules and regulations set down, this graduation ceremony of Waterford Institute of Technology for the year 2020 is now convened. On behalf of the Institute's governing body, I now affirm the awards confirmed by the Institute. These ceremonies represent public endorsement of the success and achievement of each graduate. The graduation marks the culmination of a programme of study that tested not only academic ability, but also the creativity, critical thinking, research literacy and other skills. The Institute community and particularly the teaching staff who delivered each program, joins with the family and friends of all of the graduates, those conferred here and those conferred in absentia, in being justly proud of their achievements. They graduate today, not only with an internationally recognized qualification, but with the skills needed to better meet life's challenges. I hope you enjoy this ceremony. Goran as chairperson of the Institute's governing body, I have the very pleasant duty in congratulating all of you graduates here today on your achievements. Your journey to date has been marked by a significant personal investment, time, effort and finance, and also the considerable amount of study undertaken to allow you to advance to this acknowledgement here today in our Institute. Your personal achievements are shared now by others, family members and friends who have supported you in many ways to allow you to achieve your ambition. Your studies have allowed you, I am sure, to discover attributes within yourselves which may have surprised you, perhaps, as well as developing and promoting ambition, resilience, tenacity and willpower, and the ability to cope with the extra demands of continuing your studies in a pandemic. The relationship between you, the students and graduates, and the committed staff of our Institute has been the key to your success to date. They have mentored, challenged, encouraged, and guided you along the journey. And on behalf of the governing body of the Institute, I want to acknowledge the work which has ensured that standards are maintained with a quality and acceptability of your awards at such a high level regionally, nationally, and internationally. The journey of life you are now embarking on will introduce you to a world which will be constantly changing, complex, and with enormous challenges. While a global stage awaits you filled with discovery and opportunity, it is my hope that you can satisfy your ambitions in the region here, now or in time to come, and contribute to growth and development. Whatever path you take, you carry with you every good wish of myself and the Institute. You are joining a large group of highly regarded graduates from this Institute, making their mark throughout the world. We share in your success as we set about the future Institute developments, which will support the aspirations of future students and the wider region with the creation of the Technological University. In conclusion, May you enjoy the remainder of the day and your celebrations. We are delighted to welcome graduates, families and friends to the conferring ceremony for the class of 2020. In 2020, Waterford Institute of Technology celebrated the 50th anniversary of its establishment 
as a regional technical college in 1970. From humble beginnings, the Institute quickly became the leading third level education provider for the region and a sector leader nationally. WIT has established itself as one of Ireland's most innovative educational institutions, leading in research and teaching, driven by a strong ethos of partnership and cooperation with our regional and international stakeholders. WIT is a university level institute with an international reputation for academic excellence and performance. Our reputation guarantees that graduates of WIT are sought after by leading edge employers in Ireland and around the world. The greatest challenge WIT has faced since its foundation is COVID-19. I am particularly proud of the dedication and commitment which enabled the Institute to migrate its educational offerings online over such a short period of time. Our priority is to ensure that you, the student, continues to receive a quality educational experience, and most importantly, that the WIT Award in 2020 is a certification of your academic achievement and leadership. Despite the continuing impact of COVID-19 and the need to move this, this ceremony online, today remains a day to be cherished in your memories. The conferring ceremony is an important occasion marking your academic achievement and the hard work you have put into earning your qualification. You can be particularly proud of your achievement in light of the difficulties you faced in completing the course online. I know it has been hugely challenging for you and it requires great dedication and sacrifice. Thanks to your dedication and commitment, you have reached a major milestone in your life's journey as your qualifications open a world of possibility through which you can start to realize your personal and career ambitions. Today you celebrate with the people closest to you who have supported your journey of learning, family and friends, parents, guardians, children, partners, the ones who have been there for you throughout your studies. We offer you, the graduate, many congratulations and also a very special thank you to all of those who supported you throughout your time at the Institute. Today's ceremony is also a day to celebrate while remotely with classmates, recognizing the bonds you've built over the months and years of working alongside each other and the alumni network that will continue to contribute to your future success. We hope that post COVID-19, we will find an opportunity to bring you together to celebrate your graduation physically with the Institute, classmates and family. In the meantime, I hope that you will keep fond memories, not only of today, but also of your time at Waterford Institute of Technology. COVID-19 has redefined the work environment with the emergence of hybrid work environments, combining physical and remote working as the new norm. It is likely that this change will define the future work environment. It is also clear that organizations built on knowledge creation, its innovation and application continue to perform strongly despite the impact of COVID-19. These work environments need the kind of innovative, skilled graduates such as yourselves. Thanks to your educational experience in WIT, you have the skills to succeed in the new environment, to develop new businesses, to transform existing ones, and particularly to take the lead in shaping the future of Waterford City and the wider Southeast. I am confident that you will embrace these opportunities and that you possess all the capabilities to become the next generation leaders in your chosen profession. Take pride in your achievement and your qualification. I wish you every success for the future, be it a future step into academia or in advancing your professional career. While the Institute's past achievements are considerable, the time has now come for the Institute to move to the next stage of its development with the Institute of Technology Carlo into a technological university. The new university will be university for the entire region and will have significant impact nationally and internationally. It is our ambition that in time it will be among the top new universities in the world. The creation of the Technological University will ensure 
that the Institute continues to drive the economic, social and cultural development of the South East. Thank you. We now move to presenting the list of graduates and I call on the head and dean of the school to present graduates from their departments within the school. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the School of Humanities and are worthy of their award. I present candidates from the Higher Certificate in Arts in Custodial Care on behalf of their programme leader, Vicky McDonough. Connor Patrick Ash, Stephen Barry, Martin Bergen, Cormac Berry, Stephen Bollard, Julie Brady, Carl Brohl, Kenneth Byrne, Connor Clark, Deirdre Clark, Ryan Clark, Kevin Cleary, John Collins, Sharon Conway, John Cosgrove, Kevin Coyle, John Cummins, Craig Cunningham, Dean Curtis, Joseph Daniel, Paul Delaney, Dermot Devaney, David Dolan, Emmett Donnelly, Podrick Donoghue, David Donovan, Raymond Dowd, Robert Dowling, David Doyle, David Dre, Connor Dunn, Michael Dunning, Stephen Enright, Gerard Farrell, Kevin Farrell, Patrick Ferris, Enda Flaherty, Connor Flanagan, Gillian Flynn, Thomas Fox, Kevin Galvin, Kieran Gavigan, James Patrick Gilbert, Sean Glennon, Jonathan Gorman, Sarah Gregory, Nigel Grennan, Melville Grelville, Paul Gilday, William Gunning, Christopher Hanlon, Jason Hawkins, Keoghan Hayden, Stephanie Healy, Mark Heaney, Kevin Heffernan, Shane Heffernan, 
Olive Hennessy, Emma Henry, Daniel Herbert, Wayne Hoban, Frank Hoey, Colin Horgan, Vincent Horgan, Thomas Huff, Alan Hughes, Harry Jameson, Dara Joyce, John Kavna, Patrick Kavna, Louise Carney, Aideen Kearns, Stephen Keegan, Anthony Kelly, Damien Kelly, James Kelly, John Kennedy, Sarah Kennedy, Andrew Kenny, Gavin Kenny, Kevin James King, Matthew Kerwin, Paul Knowles, TJ Lawler, Helen Larkin Donnelly, Stuart Lavin, Trevor Luby, David Marr, Philip Mahoney, David Martin, Adam Masterson, Dylan Maxwell, Andrew McLean, Kieran McCluskey, Thomas McGovern, Jennifer McGraw, Patrick McGraw, Joanne McTurk, Morgan Meelif, Catherine Meany, David Mean, Owen Minchin, Stephen Mooney, Connor Morgan, Desmond Morrison, Gerard Mulligan, Shane O'Brien, Tyrone O'Donnell, Andrea O'Neill, Alan O'Brien, Gary O'Byrne, Colin O'Callaghan, Leanne O'Callaghan, Stacey O'Gara, Owen O'Shockensey, Geoffrey Owens, Connor Patton, Laura Phillips, Connor Powell, Vicky Power, Robert Quinn, Declan Roach, Craig Rogers, Philip Rooney, Shane Rooney, Colin Ryan, Mary Ryan, Alan Shaw, Aaron Sheridan, Gavin Short, Anthony Philip Sinnott, Dara Smith, K. 
Kevin Smith, Shane Smith, Brendan Stokes, Wayne Stokes, Shane Strogan, Kieran Sutton, Keith Thornbury, Darren Tormey, Joe Tully, Andrew Vigna, David Wall, Martina Walsh, Noel Ward, Darren Waters, Elaine Woods, Michael Woods, Sean Wooten, and David Zabreski. I present candidates from the Higher Certificate in Arts in Legal Studies on behalf of their programme leader, Dr. Ella O'Sullivan. Jacqueline Burns. Shauna Mary Boyne. Sarah Brohan. Gemma Burke. Lauren Corcoran. Michael David, Quiva Mailer, Lillian O'Connor, Enrique Reinert, Jenny Roach, Anna Tobin, Patricia Agnesa Trarera, and Mitchell Lawrence Whelan. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Arts in Legal Studies on behalf of their programme leader, Anne-Marie McGrath. Lauren Bulger. Roisin Claffey. Rebecca Foley. Grace Kenny Landers. Aoife Murphy. Shane O'Brien, Dara O'Halloran, and Stefan Stara Voitov. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Laws Honours on behalf of their programme leader, Gronja Callanan. Bruna Brock. Siobhan Burke, Sophie Rose Conway Long, Karen Cook, Olivia Crosdell, Adam Duggan, Andrew Joseph Dunn, Clara Furlong. Matthew Patrick Gallagher, Sylvia Galbuesca, Molly Kavna, Andreas Gmesvik, Victoria Grace Gia Yilim, Dagamawith Mokherin, Danielle Phelan, Eamon Quinlan. Enning Pauline Sim, Gerda Stunkert, Rachel Tuig, and Kian West Harmon. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Arts Honours in Legal Studies with Business on behalf of their programme leader, Dr. Sinead Keneally. 
Billy Jonathan Arthur Ansel, Daniel Neil Burke, Lauren Hayde, Jekka Tarina Ivanova, Alexandria Morrissey, Tyg Murphy, Chloe Power, and Neve Tracy. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Arts Honours in Criminal Justice Studies on behalf of their programme leader, Dr. Geraldine Clear. Megan Akeo. Tara Lee Barry McLaughlin. Hazel Boylan. Sarah Brennan. Elizabeth Kane. Fabika Carl. Laura Cleary. Kira Codd. Brandon Cogley. Sarah Cox. Shamie Crotty. Naomi Curry. Holly Daly. Faith Deaver. Amy Devlin. Makala Donahue. Ross Fitzsimons. Zach Goldsmith. Sean Grace. Graham Griffin. Sinead Hines. Katarzyna Capron, Rafaela Kobuziak, Katie Marie Kerwin, Zana Nikolova Kostandinova, Brendan Manning, Teresa Mannix, Fidel Mamarathnun. Catherine Hazel McCarthy, Lee William McEnroe, Amy McGuire, James McIntyre, Abby Mulhall, Brian Mulhair, Kate Marie O'Brien, Michaela O'Brien, Shane O'Keefe, Quiva O'Sullivan, Noreen O'Sullivan, Martina Ostrowica, Quiva Ryan, Kirian Ryan, Rachel Ryan, Sarah Ryan. Elaine Spencer, Katie Tony Spillan, Tracy Thompson, Heather Ward, Matus Zobayek, and Ashley Marta Zampella. That now brings our ceremony to an end. We hope you have enjoyed it. We ask you to keep safe in these challenging times and to follow the relevant health guidelines and advice as we return to more normality. We hope to see all of our graduates again at some point in the future, and we thank you for your support and for your sharing in this special graduation. <laughs>